Hey everyone, Sketchy to the Max, back here for the third ever Maxed Out Rant. Now, the Maxed Out Rants have not been very popular, but I don't really care. They'll get popular eventually, I have no doubt. Now, this Maxed Out Rant is going to be about the irate gamer. Now, before I, uh, let me just take these off. Before I talk about the irate gamer, I think I should talk about the angry video gamer. The Angry Video Game Nerd started out in uh, 2004 with a review of Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde in Castlevania II Simon's Quest. He only did it for fun, but it turns out that it was so popular that he did it, that he turned it into practically a career. He's had partnerships with game trailers, TV, Cinemassacre.com, and YouTube.com. He is making money, baby. Now, the uh, IRA Gamer started in about... 2007. I thought, oh, yeah, this guy's going to be another uh, angry video game nerd story. I was way closer than I wanted to be, because when I saw the irate gamer, I knew from the moment I saw him that he would be a ripoff of the angry video game nerd. And I don't mean saw him as in his profile on YouTube or whatever. I meant saw him as in his uh, video content for lack of a better word. Now, the iRay Gamer, we all know he's a ripoff, but some of us don't know how he's a ripoff. First of all, there's the fact that he even has the same facial expression as the Angry Video Gamer, and only with the iRay Gamer, it looks like he's trying to take a diarrhea dump. <laughs> Lowly as that may be, it's serious stuff. Also, the TV, also the setup for the videos is similar. Each, um, what's the word, setup is basically a typical room for a gaming nerd with a bunch of shelves and full of game stations and all over 9,000 games. Also, the IRA Gamer is a biased reviewer. Now, biased means he prefers one over the other simply because of a certain specification. In this case, he is biased towards Sonic games. He doesn't like them. I have not seen him review one Sonic game positively. He called uh, Sonic Unleashed a POS. He called Mario and Sonic the Olympic Games a POS. Now, I'm going to be honest. I'm not really a fan of Sonic Unleashed. And Mario and Sonic the Olympic Games isn't as good as I would have wanted it to be. Or as much as I'd like to admit. But I wouldn't call them POSs by any stretch of the imagination whatsoever. Also, he, on, he either only talks about the positives or the negatives about a game. And some people are going to be like, well, the Angry Video Game Nerd only talks about the negatives. And while that may be the case, he may talk about the negatives, but as it goes on, he gets to positive points. See what I'm saying? Now... God, I really have stuff that. Also, the irate gamer. I thought, you know, I'd probably take him down a peg. So I sent him a message that said um, something to the effect of, "You are an unoriginal, biased uh, reviewer." Quote unquote. You need to stop being a hero and get off the internet. And in the most brash way possible. The IRA Gamer sent me a video that said, Oh, go cry to mommy. Well, not a video, a message, my bad. My bad. The sad thing is that he's a partner on YouTube, so he's actually making money off of this. Am I the only one who thinks this is a major problem here? I say... Now, I know I'm usually opposed to trolling, but I say we have got to take this guy down a peg. Troll this guy as much as you possibly can. He deserves it. That's the only reason I'd ever suggest someone troll someone else. Because they deserve it. I troll Chris Chan and Barry and Ballad on YouTube. That's right, I'm the occasional troll. Deal with it. Feel free to troll me about that and prove you're better and prove you're no better than me. So the IRA gamer What what can I say? He's an hero. He's a ripoff of the angry video game nerd. His videos suck to no 
end in sight. And for a simple fact, I just don't even think he's going to get anywhere. I've noticed he's getting progressively better, but I say we need to troll him and get him off the internet. Because he is hogging all the angry video game nerds, viewers, subscribers, etc., etc. I'm even surprised he has one sub... Um... Anyway... Here's a little... Now we're going to start a new segment I like to call the 911 call in homage to my YouTube username GNR and FTP 911. That's right, we're making a 911 call. This is a challenge. I am challenging you, Mr. Irate Gamer, to make some kind of video or some kind of statement that says that says you are original. You are not a total ripoff artist and that you aren't biased and you know what? I also want you to back it up. So there you go. That's it for this maxed out rant. This is going up on YouTube. Username GNR and STP 911. 911. Till, till next weekend, this is Sketchy to the Max. And I'll be seeing you later.